hello guys welcome back to the quantity solving workshop and to another video in today's video we're going to be treating how to measure a simple gable roof um as you can see in this diagram this is an elevation of um a gable roof and a gable roof unlike the hip roof is only slanted at two sides that it is slanted at this end and at the other side so measuring for the gable roof is quite easy much more easier than the hip roof so when measuring a gable roof there are some similarities as to the hip roof although they are different in design this is the simple plan we are going to be using for this um, for this video this is the plan we're going to be using and this is the plan for the roof as you can see it is slanting on this side and on this side it is not slanting on four sides so it means that water is going to be falling on just the two slanting sides so this line you are seeing in the middle is the rich cap see it is quite longer than that of the shape roof and um, if you look at this this um, is the fascia board the board on the slanting side is called the badge board underneath the fascia board is what the eaves board that's the board covering the eaves projection then this is the roof covering the sheets of the roofing sheets covering the area of the roof inside of the roof that's when you remove the roofing sheet then you'll be seeing your trusses so in this video we're going to be taking a different route by um having a different truss design so in this design we are not going to be using a king post instead we are going to be using a queen post so this is the design of the truss that we are going to be using so we have to make do of this and we are going to be measuring for it so these are also the, the, the specification the workplace we are going to be using 50 by 100 the truss we are going to be using 50 by 150 the king post or the queen post rather we are going to be using 50 by 150 mm the tie beam 50 by 150 mm at what 1000 center to center the struts that's this will be what 50 by 150 mm raptors will be what 50 by 150 mm at what 1000 center to center the fascia board that's 300 by what 3600 mm the badge board 300 by what 3600 mm the pole lines 50 by what 75 mm at 900 center to center then the roofing sheets and what the rich cap so it has any further ado let's go right into the measurement so we are going to be calculating for our wall plates so if you look at this plan you know that normally the wall plates are found on the slanting side of our roof and in the hip roof, there are four slanting sides. However, the gable roof has only what two. That's the slanting side for this end and what this end. So now we're trying to see how we're going to be placing our what wall plate. So you know that normally the wall plate is lined on along the what wall of the slanting side. But now this wall has what we call um, a projection. As you know, the east projection towards the gable side. So we need something that will serve as the support to hold the rafters that would give um yeah that will give support to the rafters. So hence this wall plate would have to extend towards the wall projection. So you know that this side of the wall is a triangle like from the triangle towards the end like you see here so this triangle is made up of what block work therefore our wall plate is going to be sitting down on the wall underneath this roof so it will be sitting down here and then it will protrude outside in order for it to carry this um the rafter that will hold the triangle for um this part of the roof so the wall plate now will extend outside so which means if the dimension of the length of our building is 9,300, to cut up for that projection, we are going to be adding our what is projection. 
So that 9,300 would add what 600 is projection to both sides, and that will give me what 10,500. So we now describe our specification still that is 50 by 100 hardwood. So we'll write 50 by 100 hardwood timber wall plate bedded to the what wall. The dimension is what 10,500. We multiply it by two because they'll be fine on the two slanting sides. Then when you do the calculation, it will give you what 21.00 meters. Then next, we're going to be finding for our number of what trusses. Now, if you look at this drawing, like I said before, this part of the height of the building is not even. This part here, the gable side, is higher than the sides, the, the, normal, the longer side of the building. So it means that the trusses are going to be found in the end-to-end -end dimension. So you need to find for the end-to-end -end dimension of those um, building. So to find the end-to-end -end dimension, all we need to do now, since we have 9,300 as the out-to-out -out dimension, we are going to be minusing the thickness of the wall, which is 2 to 5 from both sides. And that's what I did here. 9,300, which is the length of the building, less 1, 2 by what, 2 to 5, and that will give me 450. When you less it, you get 8,850. Divided by what, the spacing of the truss, or as prescription states that it is 1,000 center to center. So when we divide it, it will give us what, 8.85, which is approximately what, 9. Then you add 1, which is equal to what, 10 in number. So we're having 10 number of what, trusses. So doing that, we're going to be measuring for what, our tie beam. So, we we'll still look at the same drawing. Um, in the previous videos, in the series for the heat proof, I told you how um, the tie beams are placed. So all you need to do now is to find for the width of your building. To find for the width of your building. And the width of our building is what, 4,200. So, we know that the since the width of our building is 4,200, therefore the span of the tie beam will be what, 4,200. So, we describe 50 by 150 mm hardwood timber tie beam fastened to what, wall plate. So, the dimension is 4,200, which is what, 4.20. So, we multiply it by what, the number of trusses. Why are we multiplying it by the number of trusses? I told you that the trusses consist of what, three members. I stated this in the previous video, in the previous series for the heat proof. It consists of your tie beam, two rafters, and then struts, plus your king post. Now, since we know that we have our number of trusses as 10, all you need to do now is to multiply the, t the tie beams by what? 10. So, when you do the calculation, you get 42.00 meters for your what? Tie beams. Doing that, you've completed your measurement for tie beams. Then we go to our what? Ridge board. Now, if you look at the plan of the roof, the gable roof is unique or is diff it differs from the word hip roof in the hip roof we're going to be having a triangular slant at the side but here it is just straight so this part here there's going to be a wood underneath the roof covering that gives support towards the roof covering so that is called your what ridge board so as you can see, the distance from here to here is the distance from here to here. So we know that the distance from here to here is about 10,500. So it means that our ridge board is going to be worth 10,500. The ridge board is going to, you know that our wall plate um, protruded outside the wall towards the east projection. The same thing is going to happen to our what? ridge board so that it can be able to hold the rafter at this end at this end and at this end it's able to give support to those rafters that is why they protrude outside yeah our ridge board is worth 10,500 so we describe 
our specification says that the bridge board is what 50 by 115. So 50 by 150 mm sun hardwood timber bridge board and the dimension is what 10.50. Next we are going to be measuring for the rafters. If you look at this drawing, the rafter we are going to be having similar or the same kind of rafters in this building in this simple gable roof the rafter we have here is the same as that that will be lined here so there is no division like principal rafter common rafter jack rafter nothing like that so we'll just say that we're going to be having principal rafters throughout so we cannot state that in order to find the length of our rafter now if you look at this this is the end to the wall the rafter extends so in order to find for this extension what do you need to do you are going to find for the out to out dimension of the width of the roof which is this 5400 this dotted line stands for what the wall so if we're going to be having projection here we're going to be adding 600 and 600 here which will give me what 5400 so all i need to now do is to bring out this triangle this right angle triangle that's from here down so from where the rafter ends the projection down to this half so now we can now see that since we know that from here to this end is 5400 divided by 2 in order to get the right angle triangle and that will give me what 2700 so if you look at this i brought out the triangle half of the roof width is 2700 we are looking for the hypotenuse which is the rafter which is x so we use soca twa. The pitch angle is what 28 degrees. So we are going to be using what cos because we have our adjacent, but we need our hypotenuse. So cos 28 degrees is equal to what 2700 divided by what x. Cross multiply. X will now be equal to what 2700 divided by what cos 28 degrees. X will not be equal to what 3057.94 meters. Doing that, you've gotten for the length of the what rafter. So we need to know the number of rafters in the building. Now, to determine the number of rafters in the building, the rafters is, are going to span throughout the length of what the building. Throughout the length of the building. Mind you, we stated that the trusses were in to in. But we added projection that is why we are using the out to out dimension this projection needs rafter that will give it that triangular shape do you understand that is why now we are using what the out to out dimension of the roof that which is 10,500 so we know that the, the specification says that the space of the rafter is 1000 center to center so we divide 10,500 by 1000 which will give me what 10.50 approximately what 11 plus what 1 which is equals to what 12 number so we describe 50 by 150 mm sun timber as what rafters the length of our rafter is what 3.06 multiplied by 2 why are we multiplying this by 2 I am multiplying it by 2 because we are going to be having one rafter here and one rafter at this side. So when you multiply it by 2, you will now multiply it by the number of rafters that will be lined across the span of the world building, which is 12. So it means that we are going to be having 2 of 12 um, numbers of rafters. So the no total number of rafters will be what, 24. So, when you do the calculation, you are going to be having what 73.92 meters. So, doing this, you've measured for what your raptors. So, we've come to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel to much more um, educative content.
Thank you and we'll see you in the next video.